You know what else is really cute? What? Like fat, sweaty goiters. Yeah, it, it, will you just be like in public? Yeah. That is kind of cute. A goiter is like a turkey neck, right? Like it's like a when it's like, you... it's like a big George Lucas head. Okay, yeah. Neck. How does he have that? He's not even that fat. He's not even that fat. He's not even that much of a giant, disgusting fat ass. <laughs> <laughs> Some people fuck? just, that's where they just accumulate fat. I like George Lucas. Me too, man. I don't know why you called him fat. You called him fat. <laughs> I think he's just a talented filmmaker. You see, I guess, the physical stuff first. I see the mind behind it. I feel so bad for that nice man. Everyone gives him so much shit. I feel so bad for those little insects and amoebas that have to live under his chin. That's so What are you talking I don't, about? I don't, I don't, I don't know why I said it was really over the line. Insects and amoebas. Uh, Amoeba Lucas is his daughter. Uh, this is my daughter, Amoeba Lucas. This is my daughter, Amoeba. <laughs> Amoeba, do you like the name I gave you from birth? This no, one? Dad, I hate it. Well, you're uh, stuck with it now, Amoeba. It's not like you you're my favorite and, 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 and hello, it zoom, zooms it, and I'm the Amoeba that lives here. <laughs> I'm the Amoeba that lives in Amoeba. I'm the, I'm the Amoeba that lives on her head. I'm but, destroying the Goongas. I can hear your thoughts now. That's hello it is. Don't destroy the Goongas. I, I, I love smashing Goongas. Uh, don't destroy the Goongas. Uh, the, uh, They're the only reasons I wrote these movies. I actually wrote the Gunga there Saga. Is a, uh, <laughs> the I wrote the Gunga Saga first, and Star Wars was based on it. Star Wars was my side story. Can I introduce the... Star the Wars was my, 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 my... The thing that bought me my house. Mr. I didn't Lucas, know. you've given us a script called the Gunga Saga. It's yep. 19... Saga. It's, yep. it's, it's, it's 19... 19 well, it's 1975. What's this Gunga saga you're talking sa saga you're talking about? Well, it features uh, a large Gunga by the name of George. Um, he's got it, a nice haircut. What ha I'm seeing on page seven something. He's doing something here. Why, why did you write this in the movie? He's stabbing a producer in the eye with a pen. Yeah, I, well, that's kind of what I'm getting at. Why did? He, why is he doing that? Oh, it's, it's just a normal Gunga tradition. All right, well, that's that's the least of my concerns. On page 17, yeah. 10 pages later, yeah. um, <laughs> he encounters a female Gunga. What does he do, George? Oh, he stabs her in the, in the vulva with a pen. Okay, why does he do that? This is, you know, this is a children's movie, you said. It's a tradition. It's for families. It's, it's for a family ages. tradition. Well, look, look, George, I'm going to level with you. I want to I wanna give you this Gunga money. Gunga. Yes, thank you. I want to give you. I want. I do, I do want to give you the Gunga money. In fact, I've got a check in my drawer. Let me open it up here. Oh. See this, George? Yeah. What does that say? What does that check say? Lots of Gunga. Gung, okay. Yeah. And what is? What do you think that? What do you figure that means, George? Happy George. Yep. That means exactly. Thank you very much. And how do you figure George gets his Gunga money? Riding more Gungas. George. You just made Gunga Buddy today, my friend. <laughs> get out there, get out there, make me proud. <laughs> There's got to be something right, special about this golden <laughs> box here. I'm <laughs> unable to do it. <laughs> well, he's You're not the uh, George I remember. We'll continue the story. It's not the George I know, love. But how? Do you think it was planned? Ah! Is George Lucas a fucking genius? I want to put Anakin in the second movie. He is a genius. <laughs> <laughs> I like your impression of George Lucas. That's what he sounds like. George, put down the Jar Jar figure. No. I want some apple too. I want to put my Jar Jar in the bathtub. George, put the Jar Jar <laughs> Oh, you do it better. <laughs> I don't know why I tried. I want to play with Jar Jar. <laughs> no, no, George. Put Jar Jar down, okay. come outside and write some more Star Wars. Get the no. man in the Jar Jar suit to come back. I want Jar Jar to kill Han Solo. <laughs> <laughs> George, he stop. He should have. <laughs> I'm going to do he it. Put down the Jar Jar, George. <laughs> I'm putting it in the script if you make me do it. Like putting a little gun in Jar Jar's little hand. <laughs> <laughs> little hand. His innocent little hands. <laughs> Is this frozen? No. Are you sure? <laughs> I think it froze. <laughs> no, no, it's okay. No, it's okay. Jar Jar, please save us. It's a Jar Jar! There's a vase. Pick a, up the vase. A window. <laughs> a mace window. But no mace to be found. I love the vase! Do you think he's- do you think, uh... George Lucas just looked around the room and he saw a mace and he saw a window? <laughs> He saw toothpaste and a garden gnome. Paste gnomo. <laughs> I, I like the image of uh, um, George Lucas rolling back and forth in his bed having a nightmare. <laughs> like, and there's ten people crouched over him taking notes. So.
<laughs> Goongus. <laughs> That's going in the script. <laughs> Such a good idea, man. Oh. Jar Jar. <laughs> General Grievous. <laughs> Karuskind. <laughs> Karuskind. <laughs> George, what do you think the big walking robot should look like? Mm, camels. <laughs> camels are scary. That explains... You know what? This scenario explains a lot. All the ideas for Star Wars just came <laughs> from fucking George Lucas sleep talking. <laughs> Shmi. Shmi. What should Anakin's mother be? Shmi. Mm, a raped woman. <laughs> <laughs> By the Arabs. <laughs> You can't call them Arabs, George. Mm, Sam people. Okay. <laughs> oh, hush me. Asterix and Obelix. We can't put that in the movie, George. Okay. Put me in the movie. Okay. The Leo's. contacts Steam to ban your account. <laughs> <laughs> it sends a tiny little letter in a, in a bottle to Gabe Newell. <laughs> a letter in a bottle. It just pops out of his little desk at his work. He has a, yeah, he has a little shoot for it. <laughs> he goes... And he goes... Uh, what is this? It'd be, That's how he sounds. It'd be, he sounds just like George be. Lucas. My name is Gabe Newell. My name is George. <laughs> We're best friends. <laughs> Maybe they're the same person. They kind of look the same now. Do they? A little bit. What would you do if George Lucas's neck fell off and he just was really skinny under there, but he was like housing like a tiny fetus man? And that's why his voice sounds funny? Yeah, what he's his... pushed up against his voice the whole time. <laughs> what if his chin disappeared more and more and then he realized his neck was becoming a foreskin and his whole head got enveloped by it? <laughs> and he just retracts into it like yeah. a turtle. <laughs> You know, stop he talking gets about my movies. And yeah, whenever he gets interviewed, he hides. <laughs> George, you're going to have to come out. That's something he'd do for sure. <laughs> if he had a head foreskin. Yeah, he'd just pull it up over his gray hair. I may have fucked up quite a bit there. I've gone too far. In a <laughs> I really like that quote. What? When George Lucas says, I may have gone too far in a few places. <laughs> what have I done? <laughs> Tell my wife I love her. <laughs> <laughs> no! Look out! Oh, oh boy. Tell my wife I'm sorry. Oh. Do you think he's like to work with? Um, a real cutie pie. He probably pays you a lot, so there's that. We got to see plenty of uh, goongas <laughs> when we when we went to uh, we went to Disney because we, we went on Star Tours, and they really liked playing the Episode 1 clips almost every single time really? we are on it. Because Jar Jar's so happy and lovable. What? I love Jar Jar. <laughs> that's what the kids say on the right, That's Chris. what the, Yeah, that's what they tell you. They say, everyone at once, say, I love Jar Jar! <laughs> <laughs> what would you do if George Lucas, like, attended every single Star Tours ride? He's he like, made he, everybody he, say, I love yeah, Jar Jar. He goes, he, everybody all at once say, I he, love Jar Jar. <laughs> he hijacks the ride, and a little screen turns out. He says, I'm, I'm stopping the ride. You can't get off until you say it. <laughs> he turns to the if you don't say, I love Jar Jar, I'll turn you into a gung. <laughs> Will be Jar Jar. Chris, what kind of Gungan would you want to be? Would you want to be? Uh, I want to be the big fat man. Yeah, you want to be boss now. Boss I go, now. oh, <laughs> <laughs> Misa love you very much. Misa like a poopy. <laughs> Misa style after a black person. <laughs> Do you like the making of clip where, where George Lucas is trying to walk like a black person would walk to, to direct the actor <laughs> for Jar Jar? Have you not seen no, that? No, I've never seen that. He, he's doing, he's like swinging his arms around to try to instruct the actor for Jar Jar. Hey, ho, he. Now on this scene, can you, can you do the oh hip hop God. a little bit? In this scene, I want you to break it's dance really and awful. steal it's some money. Ancient aliens, yeah. I've got a big buck of stereotypes, please. We got a whole bunch of cotton. <laughs> I want you to study this. Now you see that. Do you think do you think George Lucas did Red Tails because he was trying to atone for the for the fact that everybody <laughs> said the Gungans were like black people? <laughs> like do you think he was like, oh no, what a bungle? It's possible. 
I'd rather That's repair my reputation. Tools. In this scene, say yes, Massa. Anything, Massa. <laughs> Massa. I'm not recording. This is just you being my slave. <laughs> <laughs> you do this for me. <laughs> now dance. Maybe I'll put you in my movie. <laughs> <laughs> That's the script he handed everybody <laughs> when they're trying out. Chris. Huh? You realize George Lucas will never want to work with you now. Why not? Because <laughs> you're bald. Oh. Because you're saying... That's why Samuel Jackson left. Because you're, you're, you're saying naughty things about him and why he happened to make Red Tails. <laughs> I didn't say that. I just said it was a funny scenario. It didn't happen. It's okay, George. <laughs> yes, it did. <laughs> <laughs> but I could have sworn. I, re I really did. Do you remember Pope Benedict? Yeah. He looked like a spider. Oh. He could have been a bunch of spiders, yeah. I would have believed that. He was so actually evil looking. Yeah, he was he was pretty fucked up. I'm not saying he was evil, I don't really know anything I, about yeah, him. I, I, but I, he looked like an actual supervillain. Like it was he looked like Palpatine. Yeah, Popatine. Yeah. <laughs> I hooked it. Spidorius Pulpatine. <laughs> That's a good name for a good character. Spidorius! That, that is just a George Lucas character. Spidorius Pulpatine. 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 Yeah, that could that could work. He's General Grievous' best friend. And I gotta get... Okay, guys, uh... I'll be an executive, and Chris, you be George Lucas, and Lyle, you're the character that George Lucas is pitching. I'm so glad to be George Lucas, yeah. Okay, I can be George Lucas. No, I, I love being George Lucas. Okay. I can do a great George okay, Lucas. Okay, okay, I'm an executive. So, Mr. Lucas, you, you know... What is people, it? people, what? fucking people hated. Well, it's okay. How are you? Pe people hated. Uh, people hated episode nine or eight. The fuck? No, they didn't. Everyone loved that so shit. So you okay? Your your head is shaking. Wait, episode nine? Yeah, we're gonna. Yeah, we want you to make episode nine. <laughs> okay, I, w I want to make episode nine. Okay, okay. <laughs> so, Mr. Lucas, uh, you, yeah. You, 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 yeah. What episode are you working again? Nine. Okay, just making sure. What 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 new characters? What ideas do you have? Blorno, Blorno, the beefiest, the beefiest warrior in the I galaxy. Blorno, the beefiest. My head is a television. This is his voice actor. He's I am. Oh, hello. What's your name, he's sir? He's black. Yeah. What's, your, what's your name, black guy? Yeah, uh, I, I'm I'm Mr. Mocap. I never take whoa. off my mocap suit. Your... Yeah, I, I was forced to wear this television on my head, but uh, I was paid I'm, very well a, yeah, for I'm it. Yeah, I've seen a headlight. The new black Andy. All Circus. my uh, all my <laughs> all my nephews and nieces love it. I don't believe you. Okay, so what does this kill to do? He kills everyone. I kill uh, what's, everyone. What's his kill? What's his killing device? I've killed three people on the way he here. He uses a fight lightning saber. He does what now? The flight. He uses a fight. A, a he uses a flight lightning saber. He casts his curse magicka upon his. Sounds like you're just gonna be a magic you. wand. I'm cursing you right now. <laughs> it's a magic wand. Mr. Only way Lucas. to un undo the curse is to greenlight this. I've been talking to J.K. Rowling. About everything. I love J.K. Rowling. You know G Dumbledore is gay? I love you guys J. know K. that? Rowling. She wrote it, you fucking Yeah, I wrote it, you fucking <laughs> Why are they both like <laughs> Okay, now, 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 now you're the executive, and this is, this, is the new, this is the new J.K. Rowling and George Lucas project together, okay? <laughs> okay, all right. All right. Uh, well, you're two, two pretty big names, oh. uh, but... I'm, I just need to hear. I just need to hear literally anything that's not the worst, and I'll oh, green light this immediately. Okay, you first uh, okay a little a little mouse is oh, I like that floating idea through space. He yeah, fell out yeah. of NASA's Challenger. Yeah, I like that already. And he he floats through space, and he floats into the Horsehead Nebula. Yes, he does. Right, let's talk <laughs> celebrities. Who, who's... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, so who is this mouse that floats into the horsehead uh, oh nebula? God. Who is he going to be played by? Because no, we need no, no, like no, no. like a, CG, a big CG mouse, CG, CG green CG, screen. Yes, I, yes. I found a mouse in my yes, attic. It's me. Oh yes, he's a mouse. Okay, okay, but, but but like but you know, like, like are we going to get are we going to get like a like oh, Robert up. Downey oh, Jr. Are we going to get Robert Blue? Robert Mousy Blue. Maybe there's like a pop star we could attach to this. You can't. You can't. You can't put a real mouse in the horse and nebula and cost too much money. We're just gonna be a fake Ariana mouse. Grande Ariana Grande. Ariana Grande could be a good mouse. <laughs> <laughs> I think for I think for a promotion we should put a real mouse in the horse head nebula. I found a video of a mouse being stomped with a high I think, heel. I think I you sent me it. that. I like that video. I made that video. Oh, I like right, that. So. <laughs> I don't know if uh, mouse porn is gonna sell to a younger demographic. Is there any way we could maybe tone it down a little bit? Um, no. Jar Jar Binks. Jar Jar, yes. A triumphant think. return. Yes, exactly. Yes. Mouse version. Mouse has a has a little wand. Yes. <laughs> Magic mouse. He clutches the wand. Magic mouse clutches the wand and hisses, yes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, my ribs are hurting. 
Hold up. Did you guys see the new Star Wars on Disney Plus? What they did to the what they did to Han Solo? No. That Han Solo Greedo scene? No. What? Oh, he, he goes. McClunky. <laughs> McClunky. They fucking, they fucking, you know the hot who shot first what? thing? They fucked with it again? Yes. Dude, it's the most psychotic edit I've ever seen anything. <laughs> Literally, so so they have Greedo's little subtitles, and it's like, it's like whatever Han Solo's gonna shoot. And then they have, they shoot the exact same title, but right before, right before either of them shoots, Han Solo is like, says like, you're no good, you're no good, Greedo. And he cuts to Greedo, he goes, McClunky. Yeah. And it sounds brand new, the voice is completely different, and there's no subtitles. My so it's not even like they added context to a thing. <laughs> he didn't even say, I'm going to kill you. He just goes, Makalanki. Yeah, and, and then they shoot each other. <laughs> it's the most pointless thing. It's like, he's. Di How does he do it? How does he get away with it? Does the, the, Han Solo's head still uh, comedically. I, 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 don't, I think so. I, I think they also, should. Also, does he still own the rights to that? No, so the, it's even funnier what happened. So that edit, even though it just came out, that edit was done like seven years ago. Oh my God. So I guess George Lucas made that edit when he still had that movie and put it on the shelf. And nobody bothered to look. I think they just kind of blindly put it on Disney Plus. McClunky. McClunky. <laughs> I love McClunky. I like the idea that George Lucas like wakes up in a cold sweat thinking about that scene. But and McClunky. Yeah. Well, that that scene in particular where he's just like, I gotta redo it. I gotta fix it. But no. the funniest thing is like, if the, if they edited that part and then they had like subtitles, say like context, like I'm gonna get you or something. It would have made sense, but there's no sense. I still don't understand why don't Disney haven't have released uh, the edited versions, like the original theatric releases of those movies yet. Have they really not? No, it's like no. it's like a fucking running gag. It's I don't understand it. If they did it, if they released the original original thing in theaters, people would go see it. I guarantee it. I wonder if George Lucas has something like signed, like a stipulation that they can't do that or something. I wouldn't shit. be surprised if we put that in. He's a funny little man, isn't he? He Hello. really is. He bi he keeps it under his bed. He goes, <laughs> they're not allowed to have it. He keeps the original cuts in his pelican throat. <laughs> yeah, he opens it up when he pulls it out. <laughs> pulls out the original film reel and goes, I will never let you get found. <laughs> what are you doing? Go, don't, get, don't go in there. Don't go in there. That's my throat. That's my throat. You're not supposed to be inside there. Get out of that. <laughs> Here, here's mine. He's pod racing. <laughs> That's, that's pretty good, Chris. <laughs> Is he running over on me? That's his mom, Shmi. <laughs> Shmi. What the fuck kind of name is that? <laughs> Ask old George, I don't know. Oh, why don't we draw oh, George? Oh, we draw George Lucas! Yeah! That'll oh, be yeah, let's draw George! Should. Oh, let's draw George! Yeah, let's draw George. <laughs> okay. okay, let's draw George. Let's draw the old George. I drew Guido like a Pendleton Ward character. <laughs> I'm looking up George. Fuck you. No, yeah, you I'm can't look him up. Chris, you no, can't look him up. No, I'm looking him up. No, I'm you can't. Up. I'm not looking him up. Okay, fine. I'm I won't look him rules. up, Corey. I won't look him up. All I remember is he's I'm... got a huge goit. That's all I know. I'm definitely not looking him up right this minute. You're a dick, Dave. Wow. You cheated everything. Everyone in the comments <laughs> called David Cheater. Thank you. I didn't look up Guido. I just drew him from memory. <laughs> I remember Comment he's got a section. goit and he's got perfect fucking hair. That's all I know. He's got beautiful fucking like lumberjack hair, yeah. <laughs> uh, this will be good. I'm not, I'm not really a character artist like Jeff. I wish I was. He's so good at that shit. Yeah, please, editor, include a picture of Jeff's face in his home address. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, editor. It's really good for him. I'm sure, you'd appreciate it. Is he big? George looks big. He's big. He's big. I'm gonna do it. What? <laughs> I'm gonna have him scratching what you always say, Chris. He'll be scratching his fucking, like, happy trail. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's scratching the piece of crumbs out of his happy trail. <laughs> sure, I'll make some crumbs fall out. Oh. Alright, I finally have an idea. Alright, good, good. Oh. Mine looks kind of like Santa Claus. Does he have lines in his shirt? He definitely has lines in his shirt. That, for a fact, I know. <laughs> <laughs> he looks like a bull... He was like a bowling instructor. I don't know if he did a very good job. I guess yeah. I'll make him carry his... <laughs> Me neither. I don't think this looks like him. <laughs> uh, can I make him wearing a Jar Jar hat? You can definitely do that all you want. What does Jar Jar look like? Uh, an idiot. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> God, he's got a nice beard. Gotta give him that much. Yeah, he does. He's, he definitely, like... Looks like quite the Santa Claus. <laughs> Alright, I think I'm done. Here you go. Okay, let's see yours. <laughs> <laughs> he 
<laughs> oh, damn, I didn't see this. Uh, is this when he's homeless? <laughs> That's kind of mean. What? <laughs> he looks homeless. He's so homeless. He's at he's at Jar Jar World. <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's the only attendant at Jar Jar World. <laughs> uh, that's silly. He's taking time to scratch his, his fucking happy trail because no one else is around. <laughs> this is mean. I hope no one no, ever draws not, me funny. like this. That's funny. <laughs> My George kind of looks like Guillermo del Toro. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> Whoops. Oh, you know what I forgot? I forgot his big, like, rosy cheeks. I mean, <laughs> I'm, I mean actually, his I'm literally sag just too much. drawing the cheeks on right now as you said that. I made his forehead sag too much. Damn it. That's like a. That's like a. That's his, like. And his glasses! Oh, I, I should be ashamed. <laughs> I forgot his fucking glasses. I'm so glad okay, you said good. that. Okay, good. Well, then it's my turn. Okay. <sighs> My George Lucas is getting high off the fumes of coming out as gay to see 3 po I hope you're enjoying, sir. <laughs> this is exactly this why I created you. He goes, oh. <laughs> oh. This oh. is just what oh. I needed, thank you. <laughs> I like your C-3PO. Thank you. Your C-3PO is your fucking hard. <laughs> you, you Editor! <laughs> Editor, put, put in the... Down grill. Put it, do a close zoom in on my picture and put that puffer fist gagging on the carrot. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I fucking hate that. <laughs> Which one is George Lucas gonna be doing that? The puffer fish. <laughs> you see three fish doing it. He's like, oh my goodness, sir. Oh, shut oh. both doing it. You haven't seen it. <laughs> uh, okay, here's mine. What he's smelling is up to interpretation. <laughs> <laughs> Why the fuck does he look like that? <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck is he smelling? You tell he me. Like, he looks like. He looks like, <laughs> he looks uh, like a greaser fucking slimer. <laughs> looks fucking disgusting. <laughs> looks like an indie game developer. <laughs> 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 he looks like an idiot. Uh, yes, yeah, it's Phil Fish getting high off his failure of the game. No. You traced Christ. the cover of Fendi in the movie. Put a sticky cheese man. Put a sticky cheese man in the corner. <laughs> He's smelling or whatever the fuck. Holy fuck, dude. Oh god. <laughs> oh god, that hurts. Oh. All right, Jackson, Jackson, to, to actually lift your spirits and cheer you up, you're given full creative control. George Lucas drives his Lamborghini through your window and, <laughs> and, and, says, and says, listen, I bought Star Wars I back. This. I bought Star Wars back from Marvel or whoever the fuck owns it. <laughs> Disney. It's Marvel. And I want you to make a film based on it. You have full creative control. And I know I, I asked earlier about it, but my question is. What do you think is the one key element? Because let's say George Lucas is getting kidnapped in like five minutes, so you only have time to pitch him one idea. What is the one thing you need to see in another Star Wars movie to make it actually super good? You see, but th that doesn't make me feel happy creating the Star Wars movie. I want to, I want to <laughs> watch it. I like the. But I'm no, giving you full creative you control. He, okay, he, but now he, I want to know just the answer. What, what, what do you yeah. answer? Make well, I don't happy. Even know. You're not. You're uh, not. You're not getting spoiled, and you're not in the creative process. They just go, Jackson. We want your input. Uh, what's the one thing you want to see? We're doing an audience survey, and they, and you're they're, you're guaranteed to have it in the movie. That is, that's that's a really hard question. Please take your time. You're editing this. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you, Andrew. I want to get to sleep. <laughs> This is this is a load of like I don't even know what's in Star Wars now. You blanked me on my favorite universe. You can't. The answer is so easy. What is the answer? What Chris? is the answer? George Lucas's head is a planet. He's eating all the other planets. <laughs> <laughs> so they have, to, gold. they have to fly inside of his head and go into his thoughts and memories and kill them all. That's the coolest fucking idea for a movie I've ever heard in my life. It's like Star Wars meets Honey, I Shrunk the Kids. <laughs> Imagine they're flying through space and he sees the craft. He's like, oh, hey, everybody. Thanks for visiting. Oh, look at that little ship. And then I'm they gonna, fly in his... I'm, I'm going to CGI it into my mouth. Here's my big digital teeth. 
See, if, if they fly into his brain, that they'll see all of the Star Wars ideas that were rejected and approved. Oh, so it would yes. be the ultimate Star like Wars. Like Darth Insanius. Darth Insanius lives again. Darth Insanius oh, is the correct answer, Jackson. Yeah, I want a whole movie based around Darth Insanius. Darth Insanius. And the whole movie... The whole How did he go Insanius? <laughs> the whole movie is them trying to escape the maze of his head. And he's like, I'll never let you escape. <laughs> you thought you could get past me, but look, it's a wall of CGI characters. Yeah, it's perfect, okay. <laughs> I would absolutely watch that film. I'd pay twice to watch it. <laughs> Holy fuck. <laughs> He's way better than the Death Star. George Lucas, if you're listening to the podcast, please make a movie about your CGI head eating spaceships. <laughs> <laughs> CGI head. Subscribe. Subscribe. Thank you very much. That was my video. Tell you all subscribe.